a mass is suspended by a thread of length L. What minimum velocity has the point of suspension to be shifted for the ball to move along a circle? And what will be the tension when it is passing in the horizontal position? Here the point of suspension is shifting in the horizontal direction with velocity v. So point of suspension is a part of the reference frame itself. So let's say the reference frame itself is moving with the velocity v. So if you observe the motion with respect to reference frame, this ball will have an initial velocity of v in opposite direction. So this is the relative velocity of ball with respect to frame. And also with respect to frame, there is no pseudo force as acceleration of frame itself is zero. So now when we observe the motion from the reference frame, it is simply a motion of his projectile. Sorry, not a projectile, it's a the, the motion of a simple pendulum of length L, which has an initial velocity of V. So we need to find what should be this V such that it travels around in a circle. So let's assume that it has completed the circle and it has just reached the point R with velocity V2. Now in order to complete the circle with minimum velocity, tension in the thread must not become zero until it reaches the top. So when it reaches the top, only then let's say the tension becomes zero. So now this ball has only one force gravity towards down and its acceleration towards down is v2 square by r that is normal acceleration so we'll do f is equal to ma at point r so at r f is equal to ma f is mg and a is an which is v2 square by r so v2 square by l that is our first equation second we will get a relation between v and v2 by energy conservation so final velocity half mv2 square is equal to half mv square minus mg into 2l which gives v is equal to root 5gl. So this is our answer for the first part and second part they are asking what is the tension when the string is horizontal. So when it's horizontal the only normal force is tension. So we can write tension is equal to mv1 square by l. So we are assuming this velocity to be v1. This is our first equation, but we have two variables t and v1. So second equation we'll get by relating v and v1 by energy. So final velocity half mv1 square is equal to initial kinetic energy half mv square minus gain in potential energy mgl. So here v we will put as root 5gl. And now solving these two equations, we get the tension as 3mg.